Hi, it's Anne Murphy here. I'm just about to go and do my fortnightly grocery shop and um, pick up a few things. So um, I'll be sharing what I've bought when I get back home. So I hope you'll join me then. Thank you. I've just got back from doing my um, grocery shopping this fortnight. And this is what I bought shopping at um, my local coal supermarket that I always go to. So I've got um, four sweet potato, some baby cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, strawberries, bananas, uh, gourmet tomatoes, uh, half a red cabbage. Now it would have been more economical to buy a whole one, but I don't, um, I'll only use a little bit of it, so I didn't want to waste um, buying a whole one. So I've got some green beans. These beans and cauliflower were on special, uh, $2 a bag. Three avocado for $5. My usual baby cos lettuce. Um, some cracker breads. Six litres of milk. Onions. Carrots. Uh, spring onions, a cucumber. Lebanese cucumber. Uh, barbecue sauce, tomato sauce. Lime cordial, maple syrup, white sugar, uh, chickpeas and coconut cream, rolled oats, a dozen eggs, uh, the packet of ham that I normally get which goes in the freezer, feta cheese, butter for baking. I'm trying a new um, spreadable butter for um, sandwiches for my um, husband who has a heart condition so uh, not that we use a lot of butter on sandwiches, but I thought I'd just give it a try. Uh, some sardines, tin tuna, olives, wholemeal, plain flour, cocoa powder, a couple of tins of dog food, Greek yogurt for sweet and savoury dishes, chopped spinach for the freezer, some more pitted cherries. I got them last fortnight and they uh, have been really good for breakfast and baking. Beef mince, broccoli, vanilla ice cream, uh, just another loaf of bread that was uh, marked down. We haven't been eating much bread, so we've still got quite a bit in the freezer. Some chicken wings and some uh, chicken legs. So uh, I've still got a bit of meat in the freezer as well. And I was kind of uh, disappointed with myself that I did go over my $150 budget. It came to $158.07 because uh, it has been creeping up the last couple of fortnights and I do like to stick to $130 on my first week shopping so that I have um, a buffer of about $10 to $20 in the second week just to top up with any fruit or uh, milk or bread that's required and I've just... Um, Notice the last couple of weeks, and like I said, the Shop Smart Eat Well method is um, just topping up those ingredients that you need um, to make the meals that your family eats. But you know, looking down at my um, at my uh, grocery order today, you know, there's some things that I probably didn't need to buy. I'd like the uh, sugar-free syrup. I've still got a little bit left. Still got a little bit of cocoa powder left. I could have stretched that out a little bit. Just going down, um, going down the list. Um, you know, some things I I did need, but um, what I'm going to have to do is just take a calculator now um, and watch when I'm getting close to $130 and just be more mindful of the purchases just to keep under budget because we'll definitely get by on all this food that I've got plus what we've still got in the fridge, freezer and pantry. So that's my grocery haul for um, the start of this fortnight. Thank you.